Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm taking a little bit of a day off today, guys, and um, I'm gonna give you a tour of Gabriola Island. I've been on this island for a year now, and I really haven't shown you guys everything that's on here. So today, we're gonna take a tour, and I'll show you around. And to help me give this tour, Melly's joining me on this trip. I've heard that prayers can move a mountain. I've seen love fix a broken man. I hope that sorrow can teach a better heart to forgive the ones they need. I'm not a preacher, I'm not a saint I don't have money, power, or fame And I don't want it, I don't need it To spread these words across the land First stop is called the Gyro, and it is kind of a recycling depot and a secondhand store here on the island. It's only open on Saturdays and Wednesdays, and it's a really big thing. As you can tell, it's quite popular with the island people. I've heard that change is on its way. So pretty successful haul there. That was about $300 worth of bronze through haul fittings. Uh, real old school stuff. If you buy that new, it's like so expensive. And uh, yeah, that all cost me $22. So not bad at all. So what did you get? <laughs> the Valley of the Horses and some cowboy love story stuff oh for geez. $1. I just randomly opened and I already had some like really funny. You know, I was pretty happy with my find, but uh... <laughs> Cowboy Ever After, then that's a that's a gold mine right there. I think this one is gonna be even better. Valley of the Horses, yeah. yeah it's about a it. lady and um, yeah. Yeah, about a lady. She shapes um, the destiny of mankind, sounds and there are horses involved. So that sounds sounds awesome. <laughs> Next stop here is the Commons. I'm actually not stopping here um, because it's only on weekdays, but I come here to get a shower. And uh, yeah, they have a lot of old salty sailors come out here. They've got a little lunch program here too. It's a really cool spot, community events, lots of fun stuff here. Honey, I know that you're fine. So this is our grocery store, pharmacy, and liquor store here. Lots of stuff. The buildings here are super cute, but I think they're actually part of an Olympic pavilion way back from the Vancouver Olympics, and they were just transported and dropped here. At least that's the story I've heard. But I'm praying every day for a baby on the way. It's another one of my favorite spots, the Arabidas uh, Home Hardware Center. That's where I get a lot of my stuff. I always write down all the material I need, and then I leave that piece of paper on the counter in my boat. And then I get a new idea when I'm out here, and I go, oh, I should get more of that. And then it, it never ends up being enough of the right thing and too much of another thing. Very poorly organized. Yeah, I really like going to this place. They're super friendly, and uh, Champ used to love. He'd make a break right for the break room in the back, and sit right at the table. Whoever was on break would have to feed him snacks. Oh, yeah. That's how that works. They also have a popcorn machine. And they have a popcorn machine. Any hardware store with a popcorn machine is worth shopping at. Next stop is my new P.O. box and post office, right here. All right, so I recently just got a P.O. box, finally. So, that means I can put my address publicly to you guys. It's in the link in the description. But P.O. box 191. We didn't get anything today. No flyers yet, I just got it. So I wasn't expecting any mail yet. 
But I now have a PO box, so uh, a lot of you have been graciously sending me all kinds of things, and um, this way I can actually send that off, and you guys can get it right away. Hey, when are you two gonna have kids of your own? Do you remember that time? Anyways, that was the village. Uh, the island currently is home to about four, a little bit over 4,000 people. And the village itself exists kind of like just a little north of center. Now we're over here on the north end of the island and I want to talk a little bit about the history of Gabriel, which probably started right around the time that dinghy was built. Jesus, look at that thing. Oh my God. It's more of a bathtub these days, eh? <laughs> So Gabriel has actually been home to uh, human beings for at least 3,500 years. It is the traditional home of the Snunamu, Snunamu peoples. It's a hard one to pronounce. But pre-Western contact, this island is actually home to more people than it is today, which is kind of crazy to think about. Now it being an island and there being no natural predators, it's kind of understanding because this island currently is home to more little black-tailed deer than it is to people and there's several flocks of feral uh, turkeys and there's even a flock of peacocks that hangs down near my bay. What mm. else? There's quite a lot of animals just wandering around Lots the streets. Wildlife, right? We just saw some roosters and chickens a second ago in the middle yeah. of the road. And you said there's one bear that made it over the Oh, summer. that's just the freaking old timers there. Every summer they talk about there's an old bear, some bear that's made its way to the island. And, <laughs> and it, Nobody's ever seen him? Well, there's always some, some old lady or some old guy's seen him, maybe saw him, mm. maybe didn't see him, I don't know. It's well, just a thing that happens. Well, there's seals and otters. Seals, otters, uh, eagles, ospreys. Yep. Beautiful bald eagles. Lots of them, like yep. seagulls, are everywhere here. Yeah, nature-wise, this Untouched island has a lot to offer. Yep. Do you think? About 100 years ago, along with a lot of the other southern Gulf islands, this island was almost completely clear-cut. And as a result, the natural predators that did exist on the island well, they got shot and carried off, and so these days, most of the wood here is all second growth. And a few decades after that, they established a ferry, and people started moving out here, and the Surf Lodge was actually built um, not long after that. Of course, it wasn't called the uh, Surf Lodge back then. Actually, I'm not sure what it was called, to be honest, but it's been here since at least the 1940s, which makes it one of the oldest establishments here on Gabriola Island. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the north side of the island. We're going to head back down south because I live on the south side of the island. Well, since I've been doing a bit of a history spiel and largely talking out of my house, I figured, hey, why not stop at this? This is the Gabriola Museum, and I've driven past it for the last year and never stopped in. So we're going to go check it out today, and maybe I can give you some more backed up information about Gabriola. So that's the name of the first nation. Small one. Ah, there There's he the is. Ferry. October Ferry to go. There he is. Look. So this is author Malcolm Laurie. Yeah wrote a book called The October Ferry to Gabriola Island and it's the only Canadian, famous Canadian novel featuring uh, any island. of the southern Gulf Islands and it's about Gabriola. It's a cool photo of him like smoking a pipe. <laughs> Pretty stylish guy. When you So that was the Gabriela Museum, which is actually closed for the entire month of November. And uh, when we showed up the door, Charlene, 
cracks it open. It's like, hey, uh, what are you, what are you looking for? I was like, I want to check out Gabriel the Museum. And she's like, well, come on in, go check it out. So we spent a small fortune on little, uh, little postcards. postcards so many books. beautiful postcards and a history book of Gabriela. Just awesome. It's gonna make a nice addition to the boat. Along with about 9,000 artists and musicians, Gabriola also plays host to an apple orchard, which is open today because it's the fall, so we're going to check it out. Yes, yes. Looks like Simon. <laughs> it's raining. Yeah. It's After picking up a delicious bottle of cider at the Ravenskill Orchard, we're on an adventure looking for the top of the island. I've always wanted to find that one road that has access to the very top of Gabriola. I hope you guys have enjoyed the tour of the island. We're gonna have ourselves a campfire and enjoy this bottle of cider as well as the beautiful sunset. All right guys, that's it. We're back on the boat and it's been an awesome day off. Um, I'll get back into boat building and working and all that stuff tomorrow. Um, although we do have some small adventures, which will be fun. And uh, yeah, it's been an awesome day getting to know Gabriel Island. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the island. There's a lot I didn't show you because it's a big island. There's a lot going on here. And I just wanted to show you kind of some of the stuff that I haven't covered because there are two provincial parks. I think there's four regional parks. Um, there's a lot of beaches that I didn't get to show you and yeah, it's all there and there's plenty that I haven't even been to yet So we will take our time getting to know that this winter and I'm excited to go and like it every day I take a drive out on this island. I find something new. So um, It's been a really cool place to build my boat so far and I'm really happy to have spent a year here so far a year on Gabriel Island have you been enjoying the uh, trips out yes. to Gabriel Island? Yes, especially this one in the helicopter. Yeah, spoiler alert, <laughs> Melly is terribly afraid of flying and she flew out this time by helicopter to Nanaimo and then rode the ferry over and, uh, well, she won't shut up about it. Anyway, she really enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, if you do ever get the chance, try the seaplanes. Uh, and apparently, Melly really suggests the helicopter ride. It is something else. Yes. All right, guys, take care. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.